this had to be probably a little tougher than most? Yeah, you know, anytime. You know, anytime uh, the final game of the season ends the season, it's always difficult, but, you know, it's the one time of year that it's not difficult because of the loss of the game. It's difficult because it's the soccer completion for, for nine seniors. This group remains incredibly special to me. We talked briefly. Uh, this group came in after 2007 and, and, uh, and bought in everything we did in the first couple of years. It was a little bit uh, lean and uh, they made their legacy back-to-back -back NCAA tournaments, conference championships. So it's tough to say goodbye more than it is about a loss. Uh, Brian, um, talk about that, that goal with 26 seconds to go. What, uh, I mean, y'all were pretty much scrambling at that time. Uh, what, what happened on that play? Well, the, the game plan was to get some goals on some restarts, and I think we executed it. And, uh, yeah, 26 seconds left, I was just in the right spot at the right time, and we just had it in the After that first goal that you guys scored, you seemed to try to defend a lot more, try to sit back. How did Louisville fight through that? And you know, did they, did it affect your game plan at all defensively or? Yeah, you know, sometimes those things aren't by design. The nature of, of the game, once we got the goal, uh, you know, the nature of the game is a little bit desperation. I think, you know, Louisville sent a lot more players forward and then as the game really wore on, it got late, you know, they, they, they went to, they took a defender off and put it forward on. And, you know, incredibly talented group of team, the team. And, and so for us, I think it was more bred out of necessity than, than uh, anything planned. And, uh, and and really is a testament to what they do. They're, they're just such a gifted attacking team. And uh, they keep coming at you. They keep coming at you in waves. And, you know, uh, we had a chance to make it 2-0, uh, you know, not too long before that. And uh, credit them. They, not only did they get the goal, they, they got the next one. And uh, But I thought, you know, we didn't have much time after a, a goal in the 86, but I think from, that's crazy, but from the 86 to the 90th, we were pressing and pressing and pressing and had two good chances and, and finally got the equalizer. Do you feel like fatigue after playing three nights ago affected you guys at all? You know, we pride ourselves on being a pretty fit, hardworking team. Um, but, you know, to, to what degree that, that factors in, I can't say, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, having played before, traveled, got here, it's never a beneficial thing. But at the same token, I, you know, I, I don't think fatigue, you know, was a, a factor in the result. And I don't think any of our guys would use it as an excuse to play a great team and, you know, play the legs off of ourselves. And, you know, at the end, uh, well, uh, I thought we had, you know, we played substitutes and uh, I, I was happy with our overall fitness. What about the, um, how, how much of a uh, difference was the turf, the wet turf? Uh, you thought maybe it affected you guys more because of your style of play, tracking them all over the place? Yes, those guys I was standing on the bench side. Well, how was it, yeah. uh, Brian? Uh, I thought it helped us, honestly. Really? Yeah, I think it helped. Touches aren't as clean in the rain, but I think that our defending was spot on. I stood in the gold box. Yeah, yeah. they were, they, you know, they, they, you didn't give up a shot on goal until like after the, six, the first minute, but then they just. Never stopped. I mean, after that, they pretty much challenged y'all. What uh, your back line actually held up pretty well, I thought. Yeah, Brian, I'm talking about that. I mean, my back line, the whole team, as a part of doing that, um, I thought defensively we played great. I mean, yeah, they had their chances, but I thought my back line um, had a great game, and we just, it was just unlucky. What happened on that last play? Um, just a miscommunication. And, uh, Right back, played the ball, and that came out. We tried to punch it up, but he just got a hit to it, and it went uh, a little right corner. Do you feel like you guys played any opponents during the regular season that prepared you for Louisville in terms of style of play? Yeah, you know, I, I think one of the things that you know maybe new to some guys in this room is you know, um, you know, we, our, our league doesn't get the national recognition as, as say a Big East or an ACC or even a Big Ten or PAC, but I mean, we've got great in our league. It was, I mean, the best team in the country, you know, uh, you know, arguably, um, giving up the fewest goals in the country, and we played them twice. I think these two, those two teams are very similar. I think, you know, maybe Louisville has a, a little bit more depth in attack, um, but they're both very similar in the fact that they, they can come at you a multitude of ways. They're committed to defend. They're, they're honest. They're hardworking. Um, they, they don't have any player on their team, Louisville, that has any, in my opinion, anyone is released from their defensive responsibilities. 
it looks like uh, even you know, uh, you know, um, you know, Colin and um, Nick still have to put in the work, and that's incredibly respectful. The team is their talent. I thought they're obviously a team great, and, and then um, South Florida. You know, we, we, we were fortunate to, to, to beat South Florida earlier in the year. Um, they were probably one of the other teams that featured some of the attacking prowess that, that we faced today. Uh, Brian, uh, talk about finishing your career here. Uh, you got the last goal for the season, but now your career's done. I want to talk about the last couple of years. Uh, nice legacy you left here. Yeah, it's a great legacy. I mean, yeah, it's a tough way to go out to the we're going to at least get to the case and finish off then. Um, but yeah, the last two years have been great. I can't that's fine anymore. I love the group of guys and the coaching staff. I'm very good about it. So it's a good way to go out there. So. And coach, uh, going into next season, uh, a lot of momentum from this group uh, coming back? Yeah, you know, you know yeah, there, there'll be a lot of momentum. But you lose nine seniors, and, you know, and most of those guys are, I mean, you just go down. And, you know, it would have been nice to have Christian tonight, Mesa, because, uh, you know, that's the missing component, no excuses. But, you know, certainly a first team all conference player. We tried to play him a little bit. And, um, you know, at that point, you could just, no matter what's at stake, you don't want to risk a full tear. To a kid that, that might play at the next level, I still think that's, that's the right thing to do. And uh, but uh, I, it, 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 they've learned a lot. This group, they have big shoes to fill. Let's be honest. The nine seniors and probably six or seven of them starters and major players. But each team is new. Each team brings with them a different spirit, a different fight, a different resolve. They bring different, uh, you know, di different uh, uh, weaknesses and strengths. And, and uh, I just want to remember this group of guys for what they were. And, and uh, they were a team that, that allowed Bradley to keep the legacy moving continue to, to play in the postseason and one thing I try to always promise our guys is meaningful games in November in a knockout format and, and these guys uh, have lived up to that. I don't know you mentioned that you didn't feel like the soft turf bothered you at all. Did you guys feel like you were fatigued at any point that's why they got the goal or was that not an issue? I don't think that's why they got the goal honestly. Like you said we pride ourselves on our fitness and we had a game three days ago and whatever and still going in the overtime and we were running around so I think that this wasn't an issue at all. I think Louisville's pretty darn good. <laughs> and, uh, I mean it is. It's just not to be to be quite honest. I think you know um, if, you know, if you look at some of that uh, it, it's uh, it's a it, it's a credit to them and that they kept coming and they kept coming and you know I mean we were you know, got off on the counter a few times and you know, we had our chances and that's what we really were able to do. But you know a lot of shots for them. I think the shot counts 28-14 here. But if you look at the, you know, the shots on target, they're actually pretty darn close. You know, pretty much a, a roller coaster of emotions. The last uh, five minutes of regulation, and then into OT. Uh, what, what did you, how did you, what did you tell your team the regulation? If the regulation didn't have to say much because they just scored with you know a handful of seconds left. One of the things that I'm most proud of with this group of guys is that. And, and when you make this comment, you have to be careful how you do it, but I will. They've played every opponent this year. I, I, I've never seen an eye raise or an eyebrow, whether they've played, you know, the first game of the season, Butler, then I, Fort Wayne, Central Arkansas, Oral Roberts, Creighton, Louisville. They have a, a maturity about them, and, and that's not always the case. They really deeply respect everybody. And at the same time, their eyebrows don't go up when you tell them they're playing Creighton, South Florida, or Louisville. It's a respect issue, and they just come forth every day and compete a little bit like our older teams. Two goals in the last couple minutes, and, and I thought of the site rep there, you know, and we were talking about them. A lot of teams fold up there, and it's over. And uh, and all they did was come back and pull one back. So, you know, I, I think uh, we didn't have to say much before the overtime. And, and as Brian said, you know, you know, at that point, two minutes left, you know, they're pushing. You, you, you're thinking about. You know, maybe get off on a counter or another set piece or, or penalties, and we would love their chances with Brian. But credit to them. Maybe one more question. Thank you very much, guys.